So welcome back everybody, I'm with Killer7275 today and we're going to be checking out this awesome ship he's brought to the lineup. What's its name first? Ventus. Ventus. With a, with a V. Yes. Oh right, very nice. I've never seen something with more than two colours, not for a long time. So it's quite nice to see that and it be a choice of bright colours. So yeah, red, red, black and white with blue lighting. And Plex glass. Yeah, I like it's it. Off, it's based off the Ventus uh, Mark III, which is docked on top of it. It's just a small original. It's a really small ship. Okay. I just haven't gotten around to making it bigger. So that's the big daddy of the little one. Yes. There's also a medium one, but it's not finished yet. Excellent. I like your, uh, you've got a very interesting style with your builds, mate. You take advantage of lighting in different ways than we're used to seeing. It's a very nice angular design on the wingy bits. I think that's going to be a technical term now. Oh, the, oh it's a very technical term. Thrusters? Sort of at the back where it bridges out. It's hull, really. Hull. Or turret mounts, I guess. Oh yeah, the little small one. Oh, that's yes, yeah, turret. Yeah, you've got a couple of them, but they blend in really nicely. So that's really cool. Nice engine design. Just going to check that out. Nearly missed the engine design. I like the sort of vector panels or whatever you want to call them on the uh, on the back there. The engine fins. Hmm. Yes, the fins. And we got these blue lighting under here for the what would be a kind of skid rail, I guess. I don't know. What, what, what is what would you call that underneath there? Underneath those two, there are two red landing gears. Yeah, landing gears. Uh, There's so also one on the front. Of course there is. There it is. The turrets blend in really well as well. It's a good achievement as well because turrets often just stick out. You know. This is quite tidy. So then, where do we start to look around the interior on this beast? Well, there's two doors. We can start from the front to the okay, back. Okay, we'll start from the front. Okay. I'll get my surfboard in position. Okay. Got gravity? Yeah, yeah I you do. Oh, that's uh, alright. You can open the door. Sweet. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. This is the main core room with the bridge and like the officers' quarters on the sides and a few computers in the back. So that's obviously your pilot's chair or navigator. Yes. It's very cool. The ship's basically mirrored on both sides besides some computers, so we only have to tour about just about half of it. Cool. I'm just going to go to full screen so people can see this. Okay. <coughs> the previous versions of this ship, I ended up having the interior too large because I tried to keep it to the same style as the first one, where it was basically the same amount of blocks except for three times larger. So I ended up having to shrink it down to make it more functional. Okay. That right, take us on the tour. Yeah, take us on the down here, here on both sides is smeared. It's just two officers' quarters with a bed and a table with plants on it. Yeah, very nice. Nice and clean. I like that table. I tried putting ice crystals underneath each one of the tables to give it kind of a floating effect. Yeah, it works. On the way to the back, I tried using lots of wedges to just, like, making wraps to try to distract you from looking at, like, well, long hallways. They're kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. This goes down to another little observation deck with another table and this goes up to a door to four other players if they want to man the turrets, I guess. Cool. I'm 
more awesome Ooh. corridors. And these are just two more rooms for science personnel of the ship. And back here is both the med bay on one side and just a little computer stands on the other side. Well, I guess it would be the front and the back since uh, we're looking in through the front. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Try putting a little hollow projector inside the center so we can have something to look at during like kind of like the galaxy map. Yep. Oh, that just takes up the whole room, dude. Boom. <laughs> I love it. Nice. That's about just about the whole ship. No, you fit. You managed to fit a lot of features into this, and it all looks really like. I like, I like it, it's a cool design. I am impressed by the mini version of the ship you have docked at the top of it. Yeah, that's a really cool party trick as well. <laughs> I need to get back outside and check that out. The small one's my actual oh, crap, my what second. Did you the first small one on the top is actually my first ship I've ever made. That actually looked nice and actually functioned well, so I decided I liked it so much that I wanted to make a larger version. Because I learned that no matter how big your ship was, someone's always made one bigger, so I tried to make something that kind of matched that a little bit. Yeah. Do you want to look at the small one you can, if you wish? That's what we're doing. Okay. It's very nice. It's got a cool interior as well. I didn't expect there to be much of one. I really like how you expanded this design in the bigger one. The cockpit is the party piece in this machine. The big one, I mean. It's got it's really nice. Got a good choice of where you've decided to put your wedges to separate the levels out. It's really nice. Oh. Um, and there's a beacon up there. Yeah, they're rush all over the place because I know a lot of like, actual realistic spaceships have lights indicating where they are so if you don't smash into each other, if they have a dark yep. or yep. unlit ship. Yep. There they are. So, what was the name of the ship? Adventus. And your name? Killer7275. So, thanks to everybody watching. Thanks to you for bringing that ship along to the lineup review. And uh, we'll be moving on to the next ship in the line now. So, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.